Now the Dark Worlds themselves, I mean obviously, I don't think anything in the Dark Worlds are limited or semi-limited. And you have people that just like them. And rightfully so. So as long as they have Graffa and Gate and Snow, then you pretty much got the whole damn thing down pat. And then you just, you know, add in gold and silver, etc. Not to mention Celt that's going to be coming in, you know, say like Primal Origins and any other Dark World that they may confirm to be coming in that booster pack. You know, I, I'm throwing Dark Worlds in that list of top uh, decks you will see this early format. And for that same reason, I'm going to also say Light Swarms are going to, uh, you know, say like be top uh, or, or be one of the top decks in this early format because I checked the and it's official the lights ones are literally coming into this new format full swing none of their cards are limited none of their cards are banned none of their cards are even semi limited everything is fucking free to go everything is unlimited judgment dragon you name it they got new fucking tuner monsters that people have been using and they're good for the archetype and then on top of that, you have, uh, you know what I'm saying, you, you add cards like Judgment Dragon to the mix, which pretty much is the main focus for the damn archetype anyway. Uh, you know, they're just one of those, again, they're one of those builds, and one of those archetypes that I feel people play, like, and they will only use just that one archetype, you know. And for those people that will only play Light Swarms, they have nothing but smiles on their faces right now because they literally have everything going for them. You know, like they got a new Synchro Monster. They got, you know, Judgment Dragon is unlimited. The motherfuckers have Lila that can, you know what I'm saying, which is basically their version of an MST monster. You know, this woman right here. They have uh, three, no, they have... I believe like three or four new tuners, you know what I mean? And they just, they have a lot going for them, you know? So literally what's holding them back from being one of the top decks you see um, early format. Uh, next up, Fire Fist, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist. Now, one reason that really gets people excited is because Tinky is finally unlimited. You know, they had it semi-limited for a short period of time for obvious reasons. And for some people that may be not so obvious. Because um, it searches out for, uh, for you know, like Fire Beast Warrior Monsters. And you can take your pick on that, you know. Um, but yeah, Tinky is unlimited. And so you, that just gives people incentive to even bother with the Fire Fist. You know what I mean? So when it was semi-limited, it's like they barely got seen. Tinky is unlimited. Oh shit, really? Back to the Brotherhood, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like they're gonna be one of the top decks in this game. Cause I, again, I've watched a lot of duels on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro and on Dueling Network, and you know, a lot on, on those sites you can basically play anything that you want. And a lot of the decks that I've been seeing being played just so happen to be Brotherhood of the Fire Fist. And of course they've been mixing it in with other cards, but the main source of those builds have always been the Brotherhood of the Fire Fist. So yeah, they're gonna be one of the top uh decks this format, this early format. <clears throat> Next up, a blue eyes uh white dragon build that I recently been seeing a uh, big sturgeons of. Now again, this is gonna be an, another one of those you know what I'm saying, just because of the of that whole uh dragon ruler situation. Um, when Dragon Rulers got announced that they were semi-limited, a lot of the, of the drag queens, you know, they were fucking butthurt because that was literally the number one deck, hands down, this past format. It's, it was people that played that deck religiously, and I've said that countless times. And just like I said in my deck expectations, you're going to see dragons in this format. Th that's inevitable. You're going to see dragons, period. You know, so all the people that thought that the dragon rulers were on, were the only dragons in the game, please forget that. Um, from what I can tell, and from what I've seen myself, the last remaining or the remnants of the dragon rulers, as they are, some 
body has created some online profile and they mixed it in with Blue Eyes White Dragon and all the Blue Eyes White Dragon um, cards and they made a build off that and that right there speaks volumes to those people that are really going to be butthurt and miss Dragon Rulers a lot you know what I mean they're going to flock to this uh, build and you just expect to see it you know what I mean so that's why I say that this is going to be one of those top decks in this format th this early format next up the Kawaki Miru now a lot of people may be looking at me like what the fuck do you mean Kawaki Miru why do you say that Kawaki Miru is going to be one of the top decks this early format you remember what I said in, in the beginning of this video there's going to be cards coming in Primal Origins one of those cards is a is a new Kawaki Miru uh, um, spell card called Diamond Core of Kwaki Miru and if you have not seen this card you need to go to, to Yu-Gi-Oh uh, Wikia and you need to look at that because the card is basically so good for the Kwaki Mirus that it's a you got people that are going to see that they're going to play this they're going to play them you know the Kwaki Miru uh, th that Diamond Core of Kwaki Miru spell card it searches for any Kwaki Miru no level restrictions on top of that it protects them from being destroyed I'm gonna say that again you have a uh, a new support card for the Kwaki Miru that searches for any of them any of them and on top of that it prevents them from being destroyed are you kidding me this is gonna be one of the top decks this upcoming format now of course you have you know like the main focus I feel will be you know so like Maxim Dragon please forgive me if I got that name wrong because uh, because I haven't taken a look at the monsters themselves so I may not remember the names but that dragon monster that barely got seen I feel like more people are gonna play that because from what I can you know what I'm saying J just from what I can remember that dragon was really good and yeah that's going to be one of those cards this is going to be one of those decks that I think people are going to be taken by surprise by so again I'm throwing it in the ring as one of the top decks to be seen this early format the Kawaki Mirus next up you got the Gustos now for the same reason that the Madoches I feel or, or for one of the reasons why I said the Madoches are going to be a top deck this upcoming format I'm, I'm gonna say the same thing for the Gustos because just like the Madoches got their ver well the Madoches come February 15th just like they're getting their version of Lone Fire Blossom the Madoches are getting their version of Junk Synchron that is better than Junk Synchron like are you fucking kidding me you know what I mean they're getting a ver they're basically getting their getting their own version of junk synchron that is better than junk synchron and that right there just speaks volumes that's going to attract people not to mention the other gustos that have you know that have yet to be confirmed in primal origins you know but with that one card alone you got my attention and I think people are going to you know use the gustos and not only that that monster that I'm talking about um I believe the name was Paprika um it supports all wind monsters it is a psychic monster level 3 emergency teleport are you seeing what I'm saying here so you have a gusto a wind monster that supports all wind monsters that is a junk synchron version that is their version of Junk Synchron but better than Junk Synchron it's a lot going on there so I think that's going to attract people to the Gustos and you know the Gustos they have a lot of potential of being one of the top decks too because of one because of, of that card and not to mention all of the other cards that have yet to be confirmed for the Gustos in Primal Origins but with that one card right there but with just uh, Piprika alone you got some attention you really got a lot of people's attention with that so yeah
people are eagerly awaiting for that one card to officially be released.